Ransomware attacks, uh, they're getting worse. We're seeing more and more of these happening, unfortunately. Danny Palmer with ZDNet here to talk to me about this. Danny, just when people think they've seen the worst uh, when it comes to cyber criminals uh, and taking advantage uh, of, of uh, companies in, in really vulnerable situations, unfortunately, it's only getting worse. Why is that? Yeah, it's not getting any better, that, that's for sure. The ransomware attacks were a major theme of last year, uh, one of the best ways for cyber criminals to make money from uh, hacking into organizations by demanding you know, hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin in order to give them their files back. The reason things are, are going to be getting worse, according to uh, cybersecurity experts I spoke to, is because simply ransomware works. It is effective. It is simple. It People are paying uh, paying the ransoms in order to get their their data back. I mean, we've seen cases where there have been millions of dollars paid in, in ransomware fees. In some cases, there have been tens of millions of dollars paid. And as cyber criminals uh, want you know, know this works, they'll be trying to exploit it even more. Especially when you consider how Bitcoin is often the currency that's used to uh, deal in these and we've seen how Bitcoin has been on the rise lately so it's probably going to get worse partially because of that as well because cyber criminals they, they love that they love that cryptocurrency and if they think they can make even more money from it it's it's just going to get worse un unfortunately because in in many ways a lot of organizations despite the, the amount of we, we've heard about ransomware um, we've spoken about it many times over the last year lessons are not being learned and there's still vulnerabilities in organizations which are allowing cyber criminals to get into the entire trees of, in, of networks and lock them down and, and extort victims. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, Danny, uh, you know, we're hearing too, as more companies utilize the cloud, uh, they're just opening themselves up even more. In theory, yes, because or cyber criminals can make a lot of money by ransoming uh, large organizations. Now we've seen various examples over the year where they've made you no know, huge amounts by you know basically giving these organizations no option but to pay. You know, th this is one organization at a time. If a cyber criminals could compromise a cloud environment, which is something that some cybersecurity experts have told me is possible, they could potentially cripple the infrastructure of you know, tens, hundreds, thousands of organizations at once, which not only would mean that there'd be many, many more victims at the same time, but that's going to probably mean that the attackers will be demanding even higher ransoms. If you're a cloud company and you somehow fall victim to this, you're probably not going to want to you know, wait a month to sort the issue out. Even though everyone tells you that you shouldn't pay, because you know, it also really keeps funding ransomware. That's not what you're going to be thinking about at the time. You're going to think, I want my network back online. I will pay, which is the unfortunate cycle as to why this works. Despite uh, being told by the authorities, by law enforcement, by cybersecurity experts, never pay this because it just facilitates ransomware. I think the statistic, some statistics suggest that a quarter of ransomware victims pay, which is a significant percentage, which is why attackers are keep moving forward with these attacks and, and why we're still seeing them now. Yep, they're certainly going to keep doing them uh, if they work, Danny. Well, finally, you know, we talk about this a lot. And as you mentioned, this is a conversation we've had, um, you know, so many times about ransomware and cybersecurity in general. And some of the same things we repeat over and over, but they, they bear repeating because uh, there are some things that you know, companies need to keep in mind some ways to protect themselves. What is it that the experts are saying that they need to, to do? Patching is, is one of the first things you can do to keep your organization safe uh, from a lot of cyber attacks. Uh, one of, when WannaCry ransomware happened, uh, that was used, that was forced along by an, an exploit called Eternal Blue, which uh, a patch was released for, and one of the reasons that it was so successful back in 2017 was because a lot of organizations still hadn't applied the patch. Even now, there are organizations which uh, have not applied that patch. There are types of malware uh, types that, uh, which will attempt to exploit that. Uh, it's a vulnerability that is or was patched 
almost four years ago now, but there's still a significant chunk of organizations which haven't applied it. And that's just one patch, one critical patch, which you know, organizations around the world were told, you must apply this patch. There's plenty of other updates out there from you know, Microsoft, from other operating system providers, from software providers, where they said, no, you must apply this vulnerability because it can be, ex you, can, you must apply this patch because it can be exploited. There's a vulnerability which can be exploited by attackers. But organizations still unfortunately haven't. I mean, in some rare instances, there's vulnerabilities which are 20 years old, which still are out there in the wild and some businesses still haven't patched. It's one of the simplest things that can be done to uh, protect your network from attacks. And it, it bears repeating that it's something that organizations should be doing because it can stop a lot of the vulnerabilities and exploits that attackers can use. Another thing which can be done to help protect organizations from ransomware and other attacks is uh, using multi-factor authentication across the network. That means that uh, if an attacker does get into your network, you know, even if they're using legitimate credentials of someone or they've you know, tricked someone through malware, they can't necessarily move around uh, the network by taking over other accounts because you'd need to basically have someone, uh, usually by your mobile phone, uh, say, yes, this is me logging in at this point. Uh, it's, it's, it, again, it's another, it's another simple thing, but it's another thing which a lot of organizations uh, don't apply. And even uh, Microsoft themselves have, have said previously that multi-factor multi authentication can prevent 99.9% .9 of, of, of all attacks pretty much. Which, which is a lot. Uh, so it's, it's one of the simplest things that you can do to keep your organization safe. And, and, and now, in, 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 as you know, things keep evolving, it's, it's just good to keep uh, letting your, your employees, your staff know the sort of things that they should be looking out for. Because uh, ju just that, that cybersecurity awareness can go a long way to, to helping uh, keep the whole organization safe because as we've seen in many circumstances, it only takes you know, one, one breach by one person uh, to affect an entire company. So just having people kind of know what they sort of things they should be looking out for can really help as well. Yeah, most certainly. It can certainly help avert a real uh, you know, disaster as we have seen so many times when, when companies have been taken advantage of. Uh, Danny, much more, of course, on cybersecurity, ransomware in general, and what people need to know uh, up on ZDNet. Uh, we appreciate you being with us today. Appreciate you guys watching.